Hey guys, so I'm here with an update on my makeout the 2013. Um, I suppose you could call this a revised edition. After the first month um, of testing like like the outlines I'd set in my last video, it's just I need to change a few things. Um, firstly, the first change is that I said I didn't want to set a goal. That I I thought I, it would be a bit demoralising if I didn't meet the goal. But I kind of need that centre of focus. Um, so I've set myself a goal of 50 products. I want to use up 50 products. Um, most of this is foundation and mascara and like, like base products. Things that I can go long periods of time using the same product whereas you know eyeshadow and blush you know that's like flight fancy that changes every day whereas foundation and mascara that's like a longevity thing so focusing on a goal incorporating those products it'd be easier for me um so i will quickly show you the stuff that's in this 50 products i want to use up this year Starting with foundations are the Revlon Color Stay, which I have actually finished this month, so that's all good. Uh, the YSL Taunt Resist, which is almost finished. I think there's like five uses in here, maybe, if I'm lucky. There's the Lancome Taunt Adol Ultra. Um, this is like halfway done, so yeah. Um, there's the Rimmel Match Perfection, the Maybelline Super Stay. Really like this foundation, but I've heard they're discontinuing it, which is kind of sad. Uh, there's two bottles of the Revlon Photo Ready. I have it in vanilla and shell. Spring, winter, summer, autumn. The Max Factor Lasting Performance Foundation. This is really, really nice. The L'Oreal True Match Foundation. Not so keen on this. I just want it used up and gone, to be honest. And then I have the Maybelline Dream Satin Liquid, which is also in my summer colour. So, yes. Don't ask me how I managed to accumulate 10 foundations. There are actually a couple more. I know. It's ridiculous but I'm planning on using up those 10 this year um, because I apply my foundation with a sponge now it's I go through foundation a lot faster and with the amount of product that I already own you know owning that amount is already a waste so wasting a little bit extra with a sponge isn't so bad to me um, for mascaras, um, most of these are samples, I will say. If I can get all the samples together, I'll get those out of the way. There's a Masterpiece Max by Mass Faxer sample. Uh, Benefit Bad Gal Lash Sample, Lancome, Hypnos Drama, just the regular Hypnos, and the Hypnos Doll Eyes, which I actually really like. And I have two samples of the YSL Fossil Shocking and two of the Sumptuous Extreme by Estee Lauder. And for full size, there is the Body Shop uh, Big and Curvy Mascara, which is really, really nice. Uh, Thick and Fast by uh, Soap and Glory. It's just your average big wanded mascara. It's kind of similar to the Grow Luscious. Uh, Max Factor's False Lash Effect, holy grail, freaking love that. 
another holy grail mascara is the 2000 calorie by uh, Max Factor. Uh, Volume Clubbing Ultra Black by Bourjois. I really don't like this. It's really, really, really thick and I don't think this will last long, much longer at all. Uh, Photo Ready 3D Volume by Ravlon. Really like this one. Uh, Voluminous Carbon Black by L'Oreal. This is a came free in a magazine. It's the Avon Super Curlicious Mascara. Give that a go. Um, the Revlon Beyond Natural Defining Mascara. I got this from Poundland once. Uh, the L'Oreal Telescopic. Purchased this because uh, Anna from Viviana does makeup. Um, just raves about this stuff and I really don't like it. So. And then we have the Max Factor Clump Defy by False Lash Fact, which is my current mascara of choice and I'm actually really enjoying it so far. So yeah. Um, for primers, I have three primers. The Gosh Velvet Touch, which is like just over halfway through. The Smashbox Photo Finish Light. Just a little baby one of that. And we have the Murad Dewy Finish Skin Perfecting Primer. Just another little sample. Um, have the Elf High Definition Powder. And six concealers. This is the number seven Quick Cover, which is like a, a stick concealer kind of thing. The Collection 2000 Lasting Perfection, the Body Shop Lightening Touch, Stroke of Light from Bare Minerals, Match Perfection by Rimmel, and the Touche Magique by Maybe um, not Maybelline, L'Oreal. Um, we have the Benefit Eye Bright. I got this free with a magazine ages ago. Three highlight powders I want to use up. These are powders that are either discontinued or like this one is a limited edition that I've had for three years. So I would like to use up. This is by Candlelight by MAC. It's a gorgeous rose gold kind of colour kind of thing. It's really intense so I have to be careful with it. So it will probably last a lot longer than I think. Um, we have the Golden Sand by Accessorize, which again is uh, discontinued. And another discontinued one is the Prestige one in Pure Shimmer. So yeah, that's that. Um, it's the NYX Taupe Blush, which I use for contouring, which is all broken. The Body Shop um, Honey Bronze in Light and the Ter Saharian by YSL in number one. And lastly, our three face powders. I have two uh, Dream Matte powders. This is in colour number two and colour number one. There is very slight difference to it apart from the undertones. This one is more pink and this one's more yellow. I use this in the winter, autumn, and this one more in the summer. Then we have the Max Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in light. Um, I go through phases of liking this and loathing this, so I just want it used up and gone. If I were to use this every day for a month, I think I'd probably use up. So yeah, those are the 50 products that I hope to use up this year. So that's the first change. The second change is the amount of products I am allowed to purchase. Um, as I said in my last video, I um, I was going to limit myself to 10 products. It's, 
it's a bit tight. I know I have a lot of makeup and I really shouldn't be buying any makeup but um kind of did. <laughs> so I decided to maybe give myself an allowance of two products a month. Um, I will show you guys what I purchased this month. Technically I purchased three but I've made an exception on one of them. I'll start with the first thing and that's the YSL um, Vernice à Lèvres or you know the YSL glossy stain thing. This is in number 25. It's what's giving me the glossy effect on my lips just now. It's really really nice. Um, it's part of their spring collection and um, yeah I really 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 like it. I've worn it every day since I purchased it. It's really nice on its own. Um, I like to layer it over lip liner or other bright lipsticks to give a bit of a gloss and it also helps with longevity so I think this in all was a really good and wise decision. Um, you guys can disagree if you'd like but I'm quite happy with this purchase. It was very well thought through and there was there was a 10 minute conversation behind this with the makeup artist so it was awesome. So the next thing I purchased was two liquid liners. As I showed you in my last empties video, um, my favourite liquid liner went rancid so I had to throw it away and I was going to go and purchase the same liquid liner but they don't make it anymore which sucks. So I went to like the next best thing and the second favourite liquid liner was this one, um, L'Oreal Super Liner Luminizer and I mean I don't love it as much. It was quite sheer in comparison but I figured it was because of the glitter particles so I picked up just the regular super liner in black and no it's it's not that it's not the um the glitter particles that make it sheer. It is just sheer and it's the sponge tip thing. I hate the sponge tip thing um because it's like any sponge. If you squeeze it, all the liquid comes out. So if you put too much pressure on this, you end up with liquid liner all over your eye. And that's not what I want at half past seven in the morning. Just, just no. It's too much hassle for me. So on that fact, I discredited this purchase and I'm not counting it because it's such a shit, shit product. I've only used it twice. Um, um, I might give it to a friend because I know someone who prefers this kind of liner so if she wants it she's welcome to it. I don't like it. So instead I went to number seven because I've used their liners before. I have two of their liners. I don't know where the other one is right now but I have a purple one and I have like a goldeny bronze one that I really really like. And this is very similar to the one that Seventeen did with the really fine brush, the really dark, dark um, liquid. So yeah, I, I'm i really really happy with this purchase. Yes, it's $7.99 which is like twice the amount of the Seventeen one but it's, it, it's what I was wanting so I'm quite happy. And on another note, I'm also throwing away these liners because they are also either dried up or rancid. Um, these ones are dried up and these two are rancid, so. In all fairness, I think throwing five away and replacing them with one is a fairly good trade-off, so. Yeah. It's probably like a true addict, justifying her purchases. So those are the new guidelines for Makeout 2013 for me. I am allowed to purchase two products a month and I have to finish up those 50 products over the course of the year. Um, to be honest, I think my mine 
gagged lines are a lot more are a lot stricter than some people's guidelines because when I was watching other people's like introduction videos to Makeout 2013 I was actually really shocked at how lenient some people are being. Um, I mean it's all well and good, you guys do what you'd like to do but it's kind of some of them is defeating the whole purpose of the project. Um, but yeah. Um, I will link a couple of people below that I really like their projects like um, Rising Water and um, Shades of Cassie, I think her username is. I really like their projects. So I will leave their links in the info box for you. In other news, I have also had a purge of my makeup collection. And throw and I'm throwing away a bunch of things. These three blushes, they're NYC color wheels. Um, they're great if you're if you have a small collection or whatever and you want to try out different colours. Um, I have these colours in other formulas that I like better, so I don't see the point in having them anymore. Um, I might try and pass them along to friends because they're not really in a good condition to sell but, you know, my friends might like them, I don't know. I can always ask them. I've also purged out a bunch of lip products. Um, these Milani Buzzworthy lip glosses. They're really gorgeous colours and some of them even smell like honey. But, um... I've never used them. Well, I've used a couple of them, but there's some of them that just smell like plastic. And these have 14 grams in them, so I will probably never get through a whole one. So I don't see the point in having them, basically. So I'm just gonna get rid of them. Um, there's an Ico lip gloss in Mayfair, again didn't really think much of it. Um, I have other lip glosses and other formulas that I like better and again this has a lot of product in it. Um, just peel back this and it'll tell me. Yeah this has like 13 grams of product in it so I'm like it's just, yeah, never gonna get through it. Um, this is a sample of a cargo gloss that I really don't like, so I'm just gonna get rid of it. This is a chit chat juicy lipstick from Poundland. Um, I barely use the Ravlon Just Bitten Lip Balm stains, so I don't see the point in keeping this either. And I also have these three. Um, natural Collection Cream Blushers. At first I really really liked these and then I kind of used them for a while and noticed that they just kind of blend away to nothing. Absolutely nothing. So yeah, they can just go bye-byes. So I hope this was kind of what you were looking for in a makeout 2013 update. Um, I haven't seen anyone else's so I don't have like a frame of reference to go by. Um, so yeah. <laughs> um, I will probably keep all my makeup empties for this video rather than keeping them, rather than putting them in my general empties video. And um, I will show you the products I've purchased in these update videos. And um, like, like my powder products, I will probably show you if I hit pan on something. Um, and you know, let you know of any revised guideline updates that I come up with or whatever. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any comments or anything, feel free to put them below. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know what kind of information you really want to see in these kind of videos because honestly I don't know what to tell what to tell you or what to talk about. Um, it has been difficult 
I will say because when I purchased this I was having a bad day I could have quite happily went and bought like five other things but I was good and just bought this um but yeah apart from that um as long as I don't go into town on the weekends it's cool I've just been sitting at home watching Pretty Little Liars and um, trying to replicate Arya's makeup because I'm like obsessed with Arya's makeup. It's like awesome. But anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will see you later. Bye bye.